Okay, this is a video about my 12 volt solar system. Out here we have the 100 watt solar panel and a 50 watt solar panel, making a total of 150 watts. The panels are connected to 4 mm squared solar PV cable that runs into the house. I'll take you inside and show you the rest of the system. Okay, here we are inside the house and this is my solar control panel. Let's have a closer look. The wires from the solar panels you saw outside come in on the blue and the black wires. The cable runs up to the control panel, up to the switch at the top. This, here. this switch can be used to disconnect the solar panels if I need to work on the system. From the switch, the wire goes to the watt meter. I'm just going to kneel down so you can see the meter. Okay. The meter shows the input from the solar panels. Just cut out the glare a bit. Okay, the current coming in now is 1.5 amps, which is 24 watts. The meter shows that my panels have peaked at a hundred and eight watts, as you'll see in a moment. Okay, and that was a peak current of six point four six amps, so it's not too bad in September. Okay, the battery that you can see on top of the meter is used to hold the data after sundown, because the solar panels are actually powering the meter, so after sundown the meter would normally reset itself and go blank. So the battery there is just to hold the data. From the meter, the wires go to the charge controller. This is a 10 amp MPPT charge controller. It features the MPPT technology. This means that this controller can convert high voltages down to the lower voltage of the battery and in doing so it boosts the current because the power has to stay the same. Okay, The green light on the left shows that the battery is charging on the solar panels. The light on the right shows the status of the battery and if you just move in you can see the diagram on the front of the charge controller. At the top left there is a temperature sensor which the controller uses to vary the charge according to the temperature. On the right we have a button which turns the load on and off and a LED display which shows various parameters of the controller. Okay, from the controller, the wires go down, go to the switch over here. Okay, the switch is before the meter, so I can turn the load on and off. The meter over here shows the power consumption being drawn from the battery on the DC side apart from the load taken to the inverter, which I'll show you later. At the moment I'm drawing 6 watts from the battery, which is 0.45 amps, so the load is very small. From the load switch, we go to this bank of switches on the right, We control my two load circuits. One circuit has a router and a light connected to it, and the other is connected to the 12 volt cigarette outlet, which you see just here. Each of the circuits have their own fuse. We have a 5 amp fuse for the router and the light, which is the orange fuse, and the 10 amp fuse, which is the red one, for the cigarette outlet. Into the outlets you can plug in a multitude of devices. At the moment I have a USB charger plugged in, which is charging my iPad, which you see down here. It's charging that. Okay. 
other things you can charge I'll show you later. Okay, at the top we have the router and over here we have a 13 watt fluorescent lamp which you see in it from the caravan. Okay, let's just go back to the controller, which is over here. Sorry about my hand. This controller features a connection for a remote meter, which if you follow the grey wire all the way around, apologise for the creaking floor, it goes over to the meter which is on the wall. You just zoom in on the meter. It says the battery voltage is 13.2 volts and it's charging at 1 amp. The green light on the meter shows that the battery is charging. If I just come back over. Okay. This is the control panel. On the charge controller there is a connection to the battery which goes behind the panel to this isolating switch over here. You can disconnect the battery if you need to work on the control panel, which is a big safety thing. Okay, from there the wires come out of the bottom of the panel, which is the red and the black wire. It goes down, down, into this wooden box which holds the battery. If I just slightly you might be able to see the battery inside this box. Probably a bit dark so you can't see. There is a 10 amp fuse attached to the battery. Okay, let's just zoom in. Okay. On the front of this box you can see an inverter, the blue box on the left. This is a 300 watt pure sign inverter which is connected directly to the battery. This inverter is a fairly low cost model, it cost £53, but it was bought to replace my modified sine wave inverter, which I was having problems with. Pure sign inverters provide a better quality current and a genuine pure sine wave. This means the appliances that you connect run cooler and it is better for them. Some things like laptop computers can act strangely when connected to modified sine wave inverters as can certain devices which have electronic speed controls. At the moment this inverter is connected to this double power point which is on the front of the, the battery box. You can see that there is a battery charger plugged in on the right on the black plug comes to this battery charger over here which is charging some C size batteries and a 9 volt battery. Okay, On the table here we have some devices Okay, here we have a battery charger, another plug-in one. This one's got some treble A batteries in it. And some MP3 players. Over here is a box of rechargeable batteries, which I put in my battery chargers. Okay, if we come onto the bed, there's a nice pussy cat. You can ignore the pussy cat. Okay, we have some 12 volt devices. It's a car RV fan and we have another 12 volt fan some Bluetooth headphones and a camping lantern which uses rechargeable batteries and over here we have some multi voltage 12 volt chargers need to convert the 12 volts down to various other voltages for powering and charging devices. We have some more plug-in battery chargers. We have a mains powered soldering iron which can be run from the inverter along with a mains powered fan and 
the power adapter for my laptop computer which benefits from being run on the pure sign inverter okay, we go back over to the battery box okay, so this box is made of recycled wood from various items of furniture inside the box is a 12 volt 100 amp hour sealed rechargeable battery it's a sealed AGM type which does not vent off any gases which is very important when used indoors and this is an overview of my solar power system thank you for watching